So now let's see how we can use the smooth vertex feature inside of Blender. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to go around and press tab on my keyboard and I'm going to subdivide this box right here by adding in some details. So now what I can do is I can smooth out vertices. So once I add in subdivision, what happens is that it just adds in the detail, but it doesn't does not smooth anything. So if I were to go out right here, you can see that uh, the division is added, but it has not actually changed the position of the vertex. But if I were to press A on my keyboard and if I were to go to vertex, then you can see that you have an option called smooth vertices. So if I were to click on this one, you can see that it tries to smoothen out uh, the model by changing the location of the vertices right here. So you can see that it's more of like a uh, bulgy on the center and uh, it has tried to push in the corners right here. You can also increase the smoothness level by this value right here. You can repeat this out and you can increase the repeat right here to make it really smooth and so forth. You can also go around and smooth it out in certain axis as you can see right here. So you can just smooth it out in the X axis or in the Y axis and leave the Z axis just like that. So I'm just going to enable all of these right here, increase this out and this is how it actually looks like as you can see. Looks like a loaf of bread as you can see right there. So I can increase and decrease this out. And if I were to go around right here, there's other option as well. So there's another option called smooth vertices. This is Lapl Laplacian. So if I were to click on this, you can see that this is a different type of a smoothing right here. It tries to push uh, the, um, the, the uh, uh, vertices altogether. So I'm just going to select all of the vertices and go over here and select this option. So you can see that it tries to push itself and then this is how it looks. So you can pull and push the vertices. So it uh, really does for a great morph type of an animation as well. So you can increase the factor right here. You can increase the factor in from this side as well and smooth it out from different angles as you wish. And you can also preserve the volume right here. Uh, if you were to choose preserve volume, you can see that it uh, just opens that out like that. And you can see that this is how it looks. You can change around and smooth it, um, it out in different ways. And that is how you can use the smooth vertex feature to change the position of the vertex to make the object that you have in Blender look much more smoother. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.